Hello students, instructor here, John McDowell with another screencast. On a previous screencast, I talked about setting up um, a website, and the idea was it was for a disc golf site or whatever. Uh, I can always go back to that and check any time. So if I just go to the site menu, and instead of going to new, if I go to manage sites, I can see all the sites that I have set up previously. And I'm just going to use this disc golf site setup, even though uh, the example right now won't be anything about disc golf, but you get the idea. That that's just the spot where everything is located. So anyway, uh, first thing I want to do, let's say I'm going to make a web page or website about taxes, actually. I'll just save it in the disk golf folder. But let's say the site's going to be about taxes, like H&R like Block type stuff. Okay, and I strongly suggest that for your project for this class, um, to do a site about a service company or organization, because I think you'll find that easier to manage and easier to wrap your mind around as far as saying a lot and providing a lot with just a few web pages. Uh, if, it's a, if it's a product site, then you'd want to have you know, a page for every product, and small views and large views, and zooming views, and all these specs and stats on it. I think it'd be easier for you to wrap your mind around um, a service-based site. So a service could be something like, you know, it could be photography as a service, it could be you know, cleaning windows, it could be a grounds crew, right? Like uh, lawn care maintenance, stuff like that. Snow plow, it could be you know, anything like that. Uh, in this case, I use taxes. Okay. Um, so maybe the title, this is my index page, maybe the title for it is going to be something like, um, I'm going to call it uh, Johnson, Johnson Family Taxes or whatever. That's kind of a dumb name. I'm going to call it Tax Patrol. Okay, because that sounds a little bit more exciting. And then all the content site, and all you have to do for the assignment is just type a heading and type a paragraph uh, for each of the pages. So I'm going to do like this, H1, no, so it's all lowercase, oops, and it's in the uh, angle brackets. I would call, you know, this is a home page, so I might say something like making taxes less taxing. All right, some kind of clever heading like that. And then end it, I'm going to close it like that. So it's going to be angle bracket slash H1, angle bracket. And right below that, again, I'm not worried about what font am I using, what colors is going to be, all that just yet. Right now, all I'm doing is setting up the HTML. Okay, so there's my heading. The paragraph, uh, I don't say something like, you know, we are Minnesota's premier tax company, blah, 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 right? You actually would type a whole paragraph or whatever, but for this example, not necessary, so let's end the paragraph like this. And then I will go to File, but Save As. I'm going to sit in this disk call site folder because that's what I'd set up before. Call it index.html and I will save it there. And if you're wondering, like, well, what does this actually look like? You know, I haven't told any fonts or colors or sizes or anything like that. You can always, if you go to Split View, you can see what it'll look like. And if, yes, it's very extremely boring, it's just a plain white background. And it has, um, this is a heading by default, and then this is what the default paragraph text looks like. If I want to create a new paragraph on that page, let's say, oh, I want to add other information, I would just enter, and this is getting off the screen a little bit, but I would just make a new paragraph tag. I'll type in more text, blah, blah, and end that paragraph tag. If I just hit the refresh button at the bottom, the properties panel, you can see, there we go. It doesn't really matter if you work on the right side or the left side when you're in split view. Uh, what matters is that you have everything set up properly. Uh, I often like working on the left side in the, in the code because I think it's more efficient. But um, you know, some things are a little easier to do over here, so as you click in selecting them, some things are easier to do over here because you have direct control over all the code and the markup. So that's that. Oops, hold on a second. So let's say I got this one done. Okay, I save it in that folder. <clears throat> then I would save, you know, I would make a new HTML file with none. I hit create. And this one's going to be, maybe it's the About Us page. So again, I'm, the title is probably going to be the same. It's going to be um, Tax Patrol. The body is going to say, maybe the heading actually just says About Us. So H1. About us. And then it will go file, save as, it'll be about us.html and it save it in the same folder. 